Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Lovely Erica, and yes, <laughs> as promised, I said I was going to bring y'all some more videos, so here I am, back in full effect. Uh -huh. I figured, you know, foundation is kind of the theme I said that I was going to be posting for you guys, so I am bringing you a Kevin Aquan. Mm, bougie. It's like, when you say it, it's almost like, mmm. You know, so as you can see, I already have my face on because this video is going to just show you guys another way that you can use your foundations. So I'm going to be using the foundation balm from Kevin Aquan. Yes, it rhymed <laughs> and it's a song. Oh, you see that? Bars. Did the DJ drop that beat on y'all? Okay. Anyway, so I'm so happy that they sent me out some product. I was so sad that none of these are my shade. I actually thought that they were going to work. So what do you do when you got some stuff to use? This is them, by the way. This is what it looks like. And I'm going to do a close-up on the packaging. But what do you do in a situation like this one? You make it twerk. And good thing for me is I'm a makeup artist, so I'm going to be ecstat ecstatic to be using these anyways on clients. So the shades that they sent me were Deep FB12. And I have deep FB13 and then FB14. We, we Let's just go ahead and swatch. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, I just, I wanted to get a little bit closer because I'm going to swatch them on my arms. So I love this cute little brush that they send with this. It's Kevin Aquan on there. I hope that it's focusing on it and that you guys could see it, but it says Kevin Aquan on there, and it's so super cute. Okay, so I'm gonna start with this shade. So this is, focus, there we go. This is FB12, and this is what the front of the packaging looks like. I hope it's the right way, because maybe I can't see. Um, yeah, so then you pop it. So when you pop it off, it has this little protector on there. You remove it and then that's what your foundation balm will look like. Okay? So let's swatch. No, I'm not going to swatch with a brush. I'm going to use that brush though. So I'm going to first, I'm going to swatch it with my hands. Oh, it's creamy. Look at that. Creamy. Okay, so here is what FB12 looks like. I hope you guys can see that. So this one is just a smidge darker. So that's FB12, this is FB13. See that? I, I hope it's really visible though. I hope you guys can see the little differences in there. All right, and right here is FB14. So, You'll, you could see the differences, FB12, 13, and 14. They're really nice and creamy, guys. Like, super nice and creamy. I love that. Okay. So, as usual, you know that I'm here to give you guys the facts on the product. So, let's see. It is retailed at $52. Period. If you don't know who Kevin Aquan is, baby, I need you to do some research because he is a staple in the makeup community okay rest in peace so if it's a full coverage buildable foundation for all skin types in 20 different shades okay so basically i have all the way up to 14 and it ends at 16 to be honest if i received 16 i feel like maybe that one would have been my shade so the shade ranges are not that dark unfortunately um they definitely probably will expand hopefully soon for you guys who are looking to purchase foundation from Kevin Aquan because 14 is a little bit too light for me. I did try it and it just does it just doesn't work for me. So I can't wait to use it as a you know in a different way today. The foundation balm formula delivers a silky flawless finish for younger looking skin, fortified with hyaluronic acid. Y'all know how I feel about hyaluronic acid. And bonus antioxidants such as vitamin E. The foundation balm hydrates your skin for a supple look and feel the innovative foundation balm comes with a specially designed brush for effortlessly blending and application this foundation matches their at the realist foundation shades and includes four additional shades to find the perfect color this is safe to use on arms legs and leave and it leaves a powder finish so 
it has a powder finish which I would agree to as I kind of see it like drying down just a little bit which kind of probably benefit me as I use this as a concealer I love that it says that you can use it in other ways which is exactly what I'm going to be doing today so I think with the shades that I went ahead and swatched on here I'm going to be using 14 and I'm going to use 14 and 12 okay I'm not going to waste any time we're gonna jump right into this so I'm gonna be using a real techniques detailer brush to get right under my eyes so I'm just gonna be highlighting underneath well, cream contour cream highlight whatever you want to call it underneath my eyes nose this is my chin but okay nose and forehead and we're gonna first we're gonna start off with FB 14 I'm gonna pick up some of that on my brush And I kind of want to start with a shade that's close to me. I know somebody's probably thinking like, girl, that look like it is your shade. But baby, I'm telling you, when I tried it, I don't know what it, it was too light. And I'll be 100% honest, I'm not someone who likes to like OD use cream or products like that to highlight. I'm, I'm not really like that. So sorry okay so I'm gonna use FB 12 now yeah and I personally like you know going underneath with a concealer that's like my shade I don't always do it but sometimes I do and I, I do like the way it finishes and uh, might I add, this will be a first impression because I have not tried this prior to this video. So I'm gonna use the brush probably to buff out after I go ahead and use my blend, beauty blender underneath my eyes, but I'll go ahead and use the brush here in these areas just to kind of see how it works. So far I'm, I'm liking the way this brush feels. It's not super hard. It's very soft, dense. Oh, yeah, that's nice. So, the, like, do you see what they mean when they say powder finish? Do you see that? Love that. So, you know, a lot of times you'll get brushes in your palettes. You'll get brushes that come for foundation sometimes. Not all the time, because you don't usually see brushes that always uh, come with a foundation but I guess you know you'll probably see it sometimes and to be honest a lot of times you guys we are not impressed with the brushes that they put in the packaging but I like this all right so now we're trying it with a beauty blender to see if it's gonna deliver okay I would say just by going ahead and working this in now it's not a product that you want to sit too long because it's not a concealer you know what I mean since it dries down like a powder oh my goodness is it me this is really nice I love it's like subtle it's, it's there but it's it's subtle I would say not to leave it on too long you know it's not a concealer but I, I do think you could let it dry down just a little bit. Alright, let me zoom in. Let me get a little closer. I want y'all to see this a little bit closer. Do y'all see that? I mean, it looks pretty damn good if you ask me. get that out the way just so you guys can see my face without the contour okay 
so I wanted to go ahead and just like finish buffing out the rest of the contour on my face just so you guys can kind of see my face I want y'all to know and maybe it's me but I feel like my face looks just like matte like I don't even have I haven't even put on powder yet so let me come a little closer look at that what Kevin you don't Y'all done did something, Kevin. Y'all done did something. So the next test is to see how it works with setting powder. And I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Beauty setting powder, honey, in the shade, honey. And y'all know I like to use my girl Jackie Ina method. It's not her method, let me not call it that, but I, maybe it is, you know what, I don't know. Y'all know I'm using the method that my girl Jackie Ina do. That's what I'm gonna say, okay? Taking it on the beauty blender, pouncing off the excess, and then going under the eye. Okay. I need this to work. All right. Girl, how you get your face like that? Like, oh, okay. Like that, or like, or like, what am I saying? I don't know, either way. I went ahead and got all my highlighting and contouring out of the way, and then I already went ahead and set my contour, and then I added blush. So now I'm gonna go ahead and wipe away. I feel like it's been on long enough for me, and let's see if it stands the test of time. different from like my other foundations that I use or concealers and again this is not a concealer it is a foundation my Fenty looks a little different sitting on top of it but I don't hate it you know I'm not mad at it anyways so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up on the rest of this face and then we'll be back okay guys so this is my face completed this is what we're looking like this is the feel this is the vibe and I will say I am pleasantly surprised and impressed definitely by the Kevin Aquan foundation bomb and how I was able to use it today I feel like when you have a product even foundations like other foundations that you have like I have some foundations up here as you can see over there but like some of your foundation shades like sometimes depending on where you stay you could catch a tan or things of that nature and then your foundation ends up being a little bit too light for you and you're thinking to yourself, wow, I have this foundation, what am I going to do with it? Use your stuff in different ways. You can make makeup, you can do anything with makeup, okay? You can literally do anything that your heart desires. So I was so happy that I was able to use the Kevin Aquan Foundation Balm in this way and I do highly suggest that you go out and check it out. If you're looking for a new foundation to add to your life <laughs> um yeah so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and kind of learned some new tips and tricks as far as how to use your foundations as concealers highlight contour whatever use them how you like I want to say thank you so much to Octoli and Kevin Aquan for sending this out to me I hope that you guys enjoyed this video be sure to subscribe to my channel and I will catch you guys in the next one Thank you.